Hey, what's up, Chemical Guys family? Today, we're showing you guys how to prep your car for the perfect showroom shine. Let's get started. The first step to a perfect showroom finish all starts off with the wash. So as you guys can see, we're gonna kick off this wash with the wheels. Now I know that the wheels are not the main focus of this video, but how are you gonna have a showroom worthy shine finish without clean wheels? So we went ahead and cleaned the wheels with our signature series wheel cleaner, which is great on all wheel finishes. And we paired it with our total extract tire and rubber cleaner to clean up those tires, because as you guys can see, they're brown, they're filthy, they have all kinds of dirt, grime, and old dressing sitting on there. So we use this combination of products to go ahead and just clean the wheels and get that out the way. Now getting into the wash, we're gonna start off with setting up our two bucket method and our foam cannon. So as you guys can see, we're gonna start off by applying our two dirt traps into our buckets. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab our clean plate auto wash and pair it with our Torque Big Mouth Max Release Foam Cannon. And then we're gonna pour about one ounce of clean slate into our Big Mouth Foam Cannon, which I have already taken the time and literally just fill up with clean water. And then we're also gonna pair it with some Mr. Pink Car Wash Soap, just for that added foaming agent. So that way you guys can strip off any kind of waxes, glazes, and sealants sitting on the paintwork, while also getting the benefits of a super premium car wash soap. So next thing that you wanna do is rinse off the vehicle. After you rinse it off, then you go ahead and foam it up with your clean slate and Mr. Pink combination of soap and the Torque Big Mouth Max Release Foam Cannon. And just go ahead and give your ride an entire deep foaming bath. Go ahead and foam it top to bottom, up to bottom, whatever you prefer. Just make sure that that foam gets on there. And once it's on there, give it some time to dwell. You want to allow some time for that clean slate to start breaking down the glazes, sealants, and waxes that are sitting on there. That way, whenever you apply any kind of protectants afterwards, they're going to bond and adhere properly. Following that, we're gonna grab our chenille microfiber wash mitt, wipe down the entire vehicle using straight linear motions, that way we're not doing circular motions to not scratch the paintwork. And then we're gonna go ahead and rinse it off and we're gonna dry the vehicle. And now we're gonna go ahead and pull it into the bay. All right guys, so we just finished washing the car. We pulled it in and as you guys can see, it looks great, but we can make it look much greater well, there's a couple things that we have to do before we get to those points. Now, the next thing that we wanna do after washing the vehicle is clay bar the paint. Now, really the key to the perfect shine really all reflects on the overall condition of your paintwork. If your paint is contaminated, you have scratches and swirls, I'm sorry, but there's really nothing that you can apply in terms of a wax or a ceramic coating onto your paint that's really gonna bring out that full 100% or even 110% jaw dropping shine because the condition of your paint, it's not gonna reflect that. So really in order to achieve that showroom finish, you have to have showroom worthy paint and then you can layer it with your favorite glazes, sealants, waxes, paste waxes, ceramic coatings and all that good stuff. So we're gonna start off by showing you guys how to clay bar. Uh, we've covered clay barn on this channel multiple times, but basically when it comes down to it is you're gonna need some clay luber and you're also gonna need a clay bar. In this case, we're gonna use our, uh, sorry, our medium clay bar. And I'm just gonna show you guys, just for reference, this paint, it sounds rough, it sounds contaminated, that's what you don't want. So one of the things, one of the biggest mistakes that I see people do whenever they apply waxes is they apply it on this layer of contamination. And what ends up happening is the wax doesn't bond properly, and odds are the next time that you wash your car, that wax is just gonna fall right off because it's not really settled into your paintwork. So right now I'm gonna show you guys how to use your clay bar. Simply open it up, and then you wanna grab yourself a little piece. Luckily there's already a little piece right here in the corner. You're gonna grab your clay bar, and you wanna knead it around. And then you wanna grab the clay luber, which I have backwards here, and now we're gonna simply spray an area. And the key to this clay barring is you want to go gentle you want to go left and right don't put heavy pressure don't you know press down on it simply just glide it left and right and right as you're starting to do it you're going to feel it rough and it's almost going to sound and feel like you're scratching your paint don't worry about that guys you're not scratching your paint really what's going on right now is the sound of the clay bar pulling away that contamination so as it's going left and right you're going to feel the clay bar uh, kind of hovering over that layer and the clay bar starts doing its job and it starts picking it up. And as you guys can hear right now, it's just crystal smooth. You don't actually hear any kind of roughness whatsoever. 
and that's exactly what you're looking for. And once you're done with the section, simply lift up your clay bar. You guys can see right here, just for reference, just that little section right here that I did, that's all the embedded contamination. So really the color of the clay bar, I'll try to put this flat so you guys can see, the color of the clay bar should be this right here. And this is all the brown gunk and contaminants that comes off of your paintwork. That stuff is in your paintwork. So just imagine you wash your car, well, we wash the car, and we thought it looked great, right? But then we start cleaning it only to find this nastiness. So that's especially why you want a clay bar. And then once you're done doing a section, simply grab a microfiber towel, buff off the residue, and you're all done. It's that easy. It's not rocket science. The only thing that you want to keep in mind when it comes to clay barring is no pressure, left, right, up, down. Make sure that the clay bar is lubricated with some clay luber. If you drop it, toss it out because you're going to collect fine debris that could potentially scratch your paint. And I think that's about it. So now that that's done, well, this little section's done, for time's sake, we're going to finish doing the rest of the hood. And then I'm going to show you guys the next step to prepare your car for the perfect showroom finish. Try to catch me howling at the moon. All right guys, now that we're done clay barring the paint, now it's time to polish this paint to perfection. Now, the reason that we wanna polish the paint is because if we apply a wax, a ceramic, whatever you wanna apply afterwards, and you apply it with the paint still being neglected and scratched up, guess what? That wax, that ceramic coating, that glaze, whatever you apply to it, it's really just gonna emphasize how much more you're gonna see all the micro scratches and swirls in your paint. So it's gonna reflect the paint, and it's gonna reflect whatever's in the paint. So if you have scratches and swirls, Guess what? It's just gonna be all that much, it's gonna be all that much more visible. So in order to really perfect their paint, we're gonna have to polish it. Now, I have already taken a little test spot. We've used, actually, let me set this down. We use our ultra bright LED inspection light, which we can go ahead and show you guys right now. There's some ex uh, sections of this hood right here that are completely neglected, all kinds of swirl marks and scratches. And keep in mind, this is a newer vehicle. So when it comes to things like this, you're not really looking for like oxidation, even though when you polish it, you will be removing oxidation. Really what you're looking for right now is just removing any kind of micro marring, scratches and swirls. You know, micro marring can happen from clay barring or maybe just, you know, rubbing your paint with a uh, dry towel and you get like some micro abrasion or maybe just from the car wash process, you can get scratches and swirls like that. So now that you guys have seen the damage, now we're gonna go ahead and show you guys how to fix it. Now, what you wanna do is you wanna grab a polisher. Now, I don't wanna to be too specific in this video just because I don't really want this video to be more of a polishing guide because we have tons of those. If you guys wanna go ahead and see one of those, we'll go ahead and link one in the description down below. So right now, I'm just gonna share with you guys, I'm using the Torque 15 DA, white Hexologic polishing pad, and some P4 Precision Paint Perfection Polish. We're gonna use this combo to polish this paint to perfection, and then we'll be right back with you guys for the last step, which is doing the IPA wipe with our Wipeout Surface Cleanser.
right, so we just finished polishing the hood and now it's time for the next step, which is surface preparation. So what I mean by surface preparation is by wiping down the surface with a product like Wipeout, which is a surface cleanser. Now, yes, I do understand that we did use Clean Slate at the beginning of this video during the wash, which is a surface cleanser, but you have to keep in mind that we did polish the surface. So we're not entirely sure if there's any residual compound or polish. Now I can tell right here that, you know, there really isn't, but you know, in order to be 100% sure, you're gonna wanna wipe down your vehicle with this just because a lot of times, a lot of the compounds and polishes on the market actually contain oils within them, which you know, some polishes might have like micro swirl fillers. Don't worry, our products do not contain any kind of micro swirl fillers such as our V-Line or C4 or P4, which we use on this hood. So you don't have to worry about any kind of oils from that. But what you do wanna worry about more is just making sure that the surface is entirely clean and prep and any kind of compound or polish free. And this product is very easy to use. All you have to do is simply spray some directly onto your towel and spray some onto the surface. And I'll just spray the whole entire hood just because I can and it's because it's that fast. And then all you have to do is simply wipe down the surface that you're gonna be, uh, well, wiping down of course, with your microfiber towel. You can do it in straight lines, just like how you wipe or do anything else on your vehicle. And this really doesn't leave much residue in the sense that, you know, you're gonna have any kind of like streaks from like gloss enhancers or anything like that. So it's, uh, it's just gonna wipe off and it's just gonna dissipate with whatever residue is left on there. And if you want, you can actually just come back to it with a dry side of the microfiber towel just to remove anything that's been left behind, such as, you know, if the product just so happened to find a patch of like compound or uh, polish residue where you were wiping. So that's what I'm gonna do right now, dry side and just simply buff off any excess sitting on the surface or any kind of compounds or polishes that we've unveiled. And this product is extremely great for inspection while polishing, just to ensure that, you know, that your polish doesn't give you false results. As you're polishing, you're not gonna be worrying about, you know, a layer of oils taken away from your overall shine. And what I mean by that is those fillers, oftentimes what they can do is they can kind of trick you in the sense that as you're polishing, you know, you do a single section and it looks great, but just, you know, if you were to happen to wash that vehicle again, you know, the next day or a week from then, all those microsoft fillers would wash away and then you would see the paint for what it actually is. So in this case, we're kind of doing kind of preventative stuff in terms of, you know, making sure that the paint is perfect and prepped. That way there's absolutely nothing on it that's gonna interfere with any kind of uh, waxes, glazes, sealants, or ceramic coatings that we choose to apply on this hood. All right guys, so now that we're all done preparing this vehicle for the perfect showroom finish, at this point of the process, you basically have to choose whether you wanna apply a wax, you know, a, a cream wax, a spray wax, a paste wax, a glaze, a ceramic coating, a sealant, you name it. This is basically gonna be the crossroads in which you wanna go ahead and do that stuff in. But you guys are gonna to have to make sure to stay tuned for the next video because I'm gonna be doing a full outline video on what order to apply your protectants in. So when I talk about that, I'm talking about glazes, sealants, wax, ceramics, all that stuff. We're gonna be going over the proper order in which you should be applying those to achieve the maximum level of shine on your vehicle. So make sure to stay tuned for that. That's gonna wrap it up for this video. If you guys like this video, make sure to like it, subscribe if you haven't done so already. And if you guys wanna pick up any of the products that we use in today's video, they're gonna be linked in the description and the pinned comment down below. And if you prefer to pick it up in person, make sure to check out your local detail garage store. As always, my name is Joey, this is Chemical Guys. I'll see you guys on the next episode.